Greetings, welcome to Navapomo 2011. Today it's day four and here I am again on my Suzuki TL1000R. And today I'm going to be talking about suspension. Okay, now motorcycles, unlike most cars, come with suspension that is at least some way adjustable. On a sport bike, the suspension is fully adjustable, which means there are three parameters which can be adjusted. Now this is spring preload, compression damping, and rebound damping. And let's take a look at those right now. Okay, now spring preload talks about the amount of pre-compression put on the metal coil, the actual spring on the suspension unit, before the rider actually sits on the bike. Uh, compression damping talks about how hard or soft, how fast or slow the unit will compress. And uh, rebound damping talks about how hard or soft or how fast or slow the unit will expand after compression. Now there's also something else called a uh, spring rate, which is um, the springiness of the spring, how hard or soft that spring is. Um, now for a rider like myself, I'm only 150, 160 pounds. I find that on most sport bikes, the bikes are oversprung, which means the spring rate is too high, which means it's a very, very firm spring. Um, now if the spring is not able to, to compress, even a minimum preload, then the damping does not get an opportunity to work because the spring, the coil, is not compressing. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the components of the suspension on the front and the rear and we'll see how those are adjustable. Okay, a motorcycle's front suspension is handled by two tubes or forks and the spring lives inside the tubes and the rebound damping can be set and the compression and rebound damping can be set. You can see at the top of each fork there is a screw to adjust the rebound damping. There is an adjustment here that will adjust the preload, which will compress or decompress the spring. The compression damping is set at the bottom of the fork. Now on the rear suspension, it's usually a, a two-part component. There is the actual suspension unit with the coil, where the preload has a, has a, has a ring that will compress or decompress the, the spring. And the damping is handled an external cylinder. Or in the case of the, uh, of the TL, which has the rotary valve damping, it has a, a rather more complex damping unit. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the damping unit of the TL. This handles the rebound damping. This handles the compression damping. Turn it in to make it more, make it harder. Turn it out to make it less, make it softer. So please, if you like motorcycles, follow me at Lean Angles on Twitter. Otherwise, uh, I'm also on Twitter as at Influx. All right, stay tuned. Navlapomo 2011.